<laughs> wow if you see me recording this at <laughs> this time this is crazy okay with my headband on don't judge me because this is the life of a designer let me just say that so the reason why I started this is something that I have okay I tried once it messed up and I now want to try again <laughs> I'm so scared about this so <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh lord help me I made a there's a, there's a turtleneck sweater that uh, I made for a client for the first time. It was a little bit small. I got bored and started it again. And I took the measurement. That's what I'm telling you. Measuring is very important and that's my weakness. I'm sorry about the noise because I'm recording this at daytime so please bear with me so i tried and made another one i took the measurement that's why i took the measurement the shoulders yeah her shoulders was 41 inch you know this is my first time doing the crochet turtleneck the crochet sweater it was my first time doing it so apparently I did I did and after finishing everything I realized it was too big though every everyone was still even my sister told me I was fitting and that and was like she wanted a little bit baggy but it didn't come out okay the, the, the nini is so cute but it's a little bit big here yeah so I decided to cut guys to cut the excess part instead of removing it all again <laughs> so this is something that I'm taking a risk and <sighs> Ooh, la, la. come and join me <laughs> oh my god oh my god oh my god come and join me doing this come and join me doing this let's just cut onions together or rather not even cutting onions but getting that ulcers together because wow <laughs> this is something that very scary so we're doing this together we're doing this together so let me show you what I mean by how this thing is big uh, 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 it's bigger than the size of the owner and it's even bigger than me because I try to fit it on measuring is very important okay, so let's see so guys this is what i was trying to tell you the shoulders are too big it should be 41 inches but baby girl did what baby girl made 50 inches 25 on this other side and 25 on the other side 50 inches that's how many eight more inches okay so you see i had already made the neck it's really really beautiful but guys this thing is big jesus christ is big it's big it's really really big oh my god so what i want to do <laughs> is to 
cut where I've made the markers. Yeah, cut where I've made markers. This is oh la la. So let me prepare and come. We do this together. So I had. Forgive me about the noise if you're getting some noises. I'm doing this at daytime. And it's like there is a Mujengo construction site the other end. So I decided to mark my nini. So this is, I had to mark it. I had to mark it. So that if I cut it, I cut straight and nice. Okay. So I decided I'm going to do away with four rows of each sides. Yeah. So we have one, two, three, four. Four rows here. So I'm going to put. my yarn all over because now I have no choice to pick it like that sorry some entanglement here some entanglement yeah so this is basically what I want to do all the way yeah so i'm tr just trying to pick this row That's what I'm trying to do. So this is the crucial part. Hi Lord, hi Lori. So I'm going to cut. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Now let me use my sharp. Shoe. Yes. Oh Lord, have mercy. Okay. Father Lord, I hope 
this box. Hi. Will I do this? Will I do this? Will I do this? Oh my god. What? I'm still. Let's go. I don't want to cut closer here. This is I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. Hiya yeah. Okay, let me just cut here. it's coming out pretty cool this is the cut part <laughs> okay let me finish first and come back so ladies and gentlemen here is what I cut on the both sides yes <laughs> And here is my part that has been. Let me show you clearly. Remove this on my tripod. This is where I marked. So, this is what it looks like. Yeah, I did it. I did it, guys. I did it. I did it. I did it. So let me see if the end is gonna get spoiled. So I figured out something. Let me zoom it in. Yes. I hope you see this. Oh my god. I figured out something. So when you cut, there is this that comes out yes and it remains just perfect like this oh my goodness i am a happy person it is not a failed project at all see see ha. it's not a failed project it's not a failed project at all See, oh my God, I'm I'm a happy person. I'm a happy, happy person. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, what, what now? What now? Uh, uh. You don't want me to be happy because I did this. Oh my God. See. Ah, uh, who said? Who say that we can't cut? Who said we, we can't cut? Are you seeing this? Is it clear? Who said that we can't cut? Jesus Christ, did you just see this? Did you just see this? Yeah. Look at that. You just remove the, 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 the one that is cut, the extra end that is cut here. And it comes out easily, guys. It comes out easily. See, ha! Sometimes it's good to do what? To take a risk, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I'm a happy soul. I'm really, really, really happy soul. And thank you so much for taking risk with me on this video. So subscribe and watch and let, let us take more risk as usual. Yeah.
but I've learned something. It's good to take risk, yeah? Even in life, take risk, yeah. good learning and I learned a new thing so subscribe to my youtube channel subscribe 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 and share this video because some of uh, the crocheters or some of the knitters are always afraid of cutting their things because they will end up messing up so guys this is a ribbing stitch that I cut off so I just literally cut in the middle but I had to mark it so that I don't end up so guys, thank you for taking risk with me and thank you for watching this video. Subscribe!